Look at this, all the singularities automated and us just waiting for them to be, well, for us to have enough of them really, except for one of them. We are missing one of the singularities, specifically the ethereal slate singularity, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the one that we will be trying to automate today. But before we do that, I do want to show a few changes that I have made, specifically in every single room. I have placed watches of flowing time to just speed up the singularity creation as much as possible. I haven't been able... I haven't been able to do it in here. Be okay, that's too loud. Because all the all this stuff is EMCable and really, if I... Hold on, I need, I need to shut this off. There we go. Uh, really, if I may want to make this faster, I need to not use the energy condensers and get rid of the emerald chickens and take it directly from my EMC network. That would probably make this a whole lot faster. So I'll probably do that in between this episode and the next one. But everywhere else where it's possible, I have installed a watch of flowing time. Now, specifically this one. I have a note for this one. Because if you add a watch of flowing time, you need to have another ultimate, at least, well, I don't know how, if this has to be the ultimate fluid tank, but I installed another ultimate fluid tank with another Avatar amulet inside of it. Otherwise, if I remove this, you will be able to see the coolant is slowly draining. This can't keep up with it, but adding another one fixes that problem and everything is Stable. Now we haven't actually had our first Nitro Crystal Singularity just yet. I have added a watch of flow time. Really, I need to upgrade the power distribution. Well, the, uh, the energy rods there to make it faster. But for now, it is fine. Wow, we are setting up for blood. Uh, what's this called again? Blood magic. Yes. Uh, for this, all I know is that I am going to be needing quite a big room. I'm going to make a 20 by 20, I think. And there we go. A 25 by 25 room. And yes, I did change my mind. Instead of 20 by 20, we are doing 25 by 25, just to make sure that we have enough room for this. Now I should say, keep in mind, I have never used blood magic before. It is completely new to me. I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to make a lot of mistakes and probably fiddle around a lot, but I'm going to do my best. So to make the ethereal slate singularity, we need to make the, well, the ethereal slate. And to make uh, the ethereal slate, we need a tier five blood altar and we need to use a demonic slate. To make the demonic slate, we need to have a tier four blood altar and we need to use an imbued slate. And an imbued slate is made from a reinforced slate and a reinforced slate is made from a blank slate, which is made from stone in a tier one blood altar. So we need to make the blood altar first of all. I need a, what did I need? A furnace? I For some reason, I had never have a furnace available, but there we go, blood altar. And we're gonna place that right on top of our feral flare lantern just like that. Next, we need to open up our quests here and we need to go into blood magic and boom, we have made the first thing. We already have a sacrificial knife um, for some reason and I have already made this book. Really useful book right here. I might be referring to that later on. We shall see. Also, I can get rid of that energy cell. Target blocks, lovely. So I should have, yes, this right here. And so if I just right click, it takes some of my health and it puts, well, life essence in here and we can place blocks on top and I can hold this down and I will have fairly fast regeneration thanks to my armor, which is really, really cool. Oh, it's actually going down. I don't know why it's going down. I don't feel like I should go down. But anyways, let's open this up and let me pick up some stone and place the stone like that. So this is going to now use the life essence that I'm giving it and turn that stone I think that's how this works into the, the the blank slate essentially. And there we go, we have the blank slate. I can right click this and boom, I have completed the quest blank slate. I'm trying to see where we unlock the ability to, yes, make a tier two blood altar. So we need to move towards this. So we need to make runes. We can make, let's read this first. The blood altar can be upgraded into five tiers by placing certain blocks around it. The second tier requires eight runes placed in a circle around it, one block below. Runes double as altar upgrades, changing their functionality in some way. Higher tiers are required for certain crafting recipes. See the sanguine scientem for a full guide on of each, sorry. Okay, so that would be this. Full guide on each of the blood altar. That is this one right here, tier one. And we have the sacrificial knife, blank runes, tier two, we have that right here. Then we have tier three and tier four and tier five. 
and we can click visualize. Oh, oh, that's cool. And then it shows us like the structure that we need to build. Okay, that is awesome. Right click a block to anchor the structure. I don't I, I want to disappear this. There we go. All right. So that is what we need to do. So the next thing that we will want to make according to the uh, blood magic book is the weak blood orb. Blood orbs give you a pool of LP called the soul network, which is used to power rituals and sigils. The weak blood orb is the first and smallest holding 5000 LP. Bind and fill it by right clicking. You can also fill it in the blood blood altar. Let's place a diamond. Hopefully we get a weak blood orb, this thing right here, which we should be able to use to make well, different things, but also this thing, rune and also blank rune, which is exactly what we need to upgrade this altar. And so this should be done in just a, yep, there we go. Perfect, weak blood orb, and we should be able to now, if we go into the quest line here, we can obviously make other uh, blood orbs. What does it take to upgrade it? Okay, so we do need to make a tier two. So let's make a tier two. We can make a blank rune pretty easily here. So if we go all the way over to this and blank rune, maybe we even have some? No, that would have been too easy. There we go. One, oh wait, maybe we do then. Two, three, four. Huh, do I have? Oh wow, I have had some from a bunch of quests and whatnot. Okay, that's cool. So now if I go ahead and remove the blood altar, I place a temporary block underneath. I will need to, well, actually, oh, I can't raise the roof, can I? Yeah, I can't raise the roof. I need to go down one. Oh, well, I can place all of these around. Just these black runes, do the blood altar, and then we should have a tier two, meaning I'm pretty sure if we go into this, Zoom back in. Rest block of redstone, 5,000. So if I just do this real quick, filling it up. Very, very painful process. And I need to leave it in there until it has processed 5,000 life essence. So I'm gonna be here for a little bit, hopefully not dying. Now looking into the book here, it says now that you have a tier two altar, you can look into getting life essence from somewhere other than yourself. That would be very nice. The dagger of sacrifice will allow you to sacrifice any mob, mo monster or passive that stands within two blocks of your altar, instantly killing them and granting you a decent sum of LP. You can increase the amount you get per kill with runes of sacrifice. Different entities give different amounts of LP. Check your configs for more info. So if I make this, and oh, that's done. Very, very cool. Can I make the next one? How much is that? Tier three block of gold. We'll make those as we go along here. We could set up a mob farm that we have like over there on the minimap, right? Well, above us basically. Well, it says two blocks away. Um, and then using runes of sacrifice and then using dagger of sacrifice. All right, I want to make the tier two. Oh, sorry, the tier three blood altar now. So I'm just following the instructions on how to do that. We're going to be needing to mine down quite a bit. I'm happy I don't have another basement section underneath this. <laughs> ah, I just silenced the stuff upstairs. That was very, very, very nice. All right, so this stuff in here. Then I need shroom lights, glow or oh, glowstone. Glowstone, I have plenty of. Not the prettiest block but I do have infinite amounts of it thanks to EMC. So place that there, place this here, place this there. And then in the book, it does say place five blood runes, one block down and two blocks away, so down here. Don't know if it, if I have to do that, but I guess since it says it, blood root, blood root, bl eh, eh, him, eh? Blood runes, I'm so confused. Huh, well, I'm just gonna make a bunch of black, uh, blank runes and hope that that counts. All right, final five blank runes. Hopefully this is going to complete the blood altar for tier five. Aha, uh -huh. to check that it is successfully upgraded, use a div div divide. <clears throat> this thing is, pro oh, it's a sigil. It's probably the first many sigils that you would like to craft in blood magic. In order to craft a sigil, you need to craft an alchemy array and use reso dust and a blank slate as the base. And okay, that, that's a lot. Okay, so I need to make the alchemy table now. And also it has run out. So now progress has probably been <laughs> reset. Oh, it runs out fast this thing. I might not be able to keep up with it, to be honest. <laughs> Without, yeah, this is, um... uh-oh. 
Yeah, it, it's it's running out before I can actually keep up with it. And when the smoke particles are there, that it just means there's no LP in the in the thing, and it is reversing the process. So um, yeah. So I guess I do need to take a look at the dagger of sacrifice, which is iron, an iron sword essentially. So iron sword. I have oh, I have some. Nice. So that is going to take three thousand LP. I should be able to. Provide that. Yep, there we go. And there we go. We have the Dagger of Sacrifice. So, in theory, I should be able to set up a, a moth spawner thing over there, drag them all the way over here, place them almost on top of the blood altar, and then use the Dagger of Sacrifice. And I think, ooh, our, fir our first thing. And I think that would work. Nitro Crystal Singularity completed. Very, very cool. So, if I just go ahead and let's just take. I'm sure that. Hold on. Ah, hello, that's a creeper. And I'm not gonna use creepers for it. <laughs> but if I take this and just place you here, so we have 2.6, 3.7. That works. Now I have realized that there is a better way of spawning or doing the thing with the Dagger of Sacrifice than I thought originally. We can make a soul shard. Which is uh, done like so. You basically place a three by three. I already have one. Let's go ahead and make it and and, uh, and make one. As it says, right click on the top of the glowstone block with a diamond in hand. And it doesn't really say it very well here, but four by four obsidian, or four obsidian, sorry, four quartz and four glowstone. And the way you would orientate it, so obsidian in the corners, just like so. Then the quartz, and then right click the diamond. And we have another soul shard, but I already had one from, well, something. We need to make a soul cage, which for that I need to make some corrupted ingot. Corrupted essence is made like this, and the vile dust is made by blasting soul soil or soul sand. Of which I've already done, so that is 16, and just like that we have a soul cage. So now with the soul cage and the soul shard, what I need to go and do now is find some spawners, any spawners really. I'm going to choose zombie spawners. Uh, because that's probably going to be the easiest. You stay right there. And I just need to right click this thing on set zombie spawner. I'm pretty sure. So that's a creeper spawner. Don't want that. Really, really don't want that. That's also a creeper spawner. Wow. This is a zombie spawner. So. Hmm. Nothing is happening. Maybe I need to kill everything around it. Or let it spawn its thing. Oh, there we go. Right clicked it and it worked. Okay, don't know what needed to happen. Maybe it needed to spawn in a few times. But I basically just need to repeat this until this crystal is full. Because if we hover over it, it's now tier 2. I want that to be the highest tier possible. That's another creeper spawner. Why are there so many creeper spawners? I want zombies for once. What's this? Zombie spawner. Finally, right click. There we go. Got it. Tier 3. I just need two more, I'm pretty sure. And that's the fourth. And the fi fifth. I, I seem to be needing one more. And hopefully the final one. Ye uh, tier 4? I think it might still work. It's not going to be as efficient, but I think it's going to be good enough. Now, from my understanding, we will be getting an even better way of getting life essence than using the the, the uh, dagger here. But I'm going to try this, see how fast. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, huh? I mean, that's not amazing. But we do have these vector plates from Dark Utilities, which, I mean, I can make that many. And that might be a better solution. So I'm going to remove this Feral Flare Lantern and I'm going to place it way back here, I think. And then I just need to, well, do stuff. That doesn't really explain much, does it? So this is where I want mobs to end up. And I need to have this open, I think. Or maybe I go down one bit with the slab. I think I go down one... No, then I can't see what on earth I'm doing. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna play, break this, and I'm going to place another slab right here in the opening. Again, I think it's just temporary. We will be replacing it 
later with something else. So I'm just gonna add this to the wall, I think. Then in here, I'm going to be making a five by five room where the spawner can do its thing. All right, cover this up. I need to get a way of getting I need a way to get out of here, basically. So if the spawner is here, I do apologize that it is this dark. We're going to lead stuff all the way over, I think, like this. Gonna lead it eh, all the way down, like so. Right, something along these lines. Just gonna do that. Gonna break this. And then I think we place this here. This is gonna be crazy, I think. Right click that. Oh, there they are, okay. Uh, then I need to get rid of all of them so that I can actually work. Yep, take the shot out. Good. Okay, now with everything in place, I can... Now I can't fly back. But I can run it, so... Because the boots are so fast, so I right click this. Go back, go back, go back. Place that. Haha! <laughs> Defeated! So now I can stand here. Three, nine, seven. Four. Oh yeah. Obviously I'm getting the drops, so maybe I'll place a thing to pick up all the different drops that the can that this can have, but it is working perfectly. So whenever I need life essence, just do that. Perfect. And this is just here on top of a trash can set to a whitelist, only taking away the items that I don't want. And I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, yeah, shut them up completely. There we go. Ah, much better. What was I doing again? Right, we have this tier three blood altar. We would like the tier four. So, uh, what are those blocks? I don't actually know what those blocks are. Uh, bloodstone bricks. Bloodstone bricks. Let's see, how do we get these? Large bloodstone, so weak blood shard and stone. Weak blood shards, they require weak blood shards, which can be made by putting a saturated tau into an alchemical reaction chamber with a... Uh, I need weak blood shards, uh, which means I need this, which means I need to go to the simple dungeon, which means I need to build uh, this thing right here, which should be housed. Able to be housed right here, I think. Yes. So now that I have these ingredients, I should be able to just put them all into this thing right here and get the things that I need. Things are slowly coming together. This is going to be a mega so If it's an hour long, get some popcorn or something. <laughs> there we go. This is it right here. Then just gotta do the other three. All right, final inscription tool has been made. So without any further ado, there we go, Ritual Diviner. I need to make a bunch of Ritual Stones. And there we go, it has been made, which means I can go ahead and make the Master, uh, not, why didn't I bookmark it? Master Ritual Stone right here, boom. And this means I can place this. And then I just need to have all the other requirements of so 36 uh, normal Ritual Stones, and then, I can just right click it with the branch and it should build everything. All right, after much standing around and making sure this thing is topped up, I was able to finally have one stack pulled through. So if we just have a chest or any, I suppose, input with stone in it, leading into the blood altar. Right now there's a stack in there processing. I have a ultimate pipe upgrade in here with a whitelist with a blank slate and boom, we have an entire stack of them, so that is really cool. We can take that out and also pull that out because I don't need that right now. The next thing that I need to pull through is these. <laughs> and each of them, in order to convert into a reinforced slate, needs to take 2,000, so it's going to take uh, twice, a, twice as long, and that is why you need to set the whitelist. Uh, whitelist here, add item, this thing right here, reinforced, submit, otherwise the item is just going to pull straight through. Oh yeah, I need to of course remove it from there and then <laughs> add it back in and that should work. Finally, that has taken ages, but I now have a stack of reinforced slate. I need to now make a bunch of these uh, ritual stones and I just need to go ahead and make 
well, as many as I can. I need like 30 something. So 36, 34. Well, that is definitely going to be enough. So with this in hand, I can change which ritual it is that I'm doing. Ritual of magnetism. Okay, that is actually a lot. Edge of the Hidden Realm, there we go. Right click this and it should be building it all by itself. Yep, look at that. It is taking my ritual stones and just placing them down. Very cool, e except that it's, it, it's missing some. 36, okay, so 36 rituals are actually built. So what I need to get now is a weak activation crystal, which looks like I need to get a lava crystal, which is made like this. Okay, that should be actually craft. That should actually be craftable. Crystal, lava, lava crystal, there we go. Yep, lava crystal, just like that. And then I should just need to put this into here, I think. Uh, LP, 10,000. Okay, so I need to stand here yet again, just for a little bit longer. And then once I have that, I need to store up 80,000. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. I think by using the different orbs, by placing them in and having them store power. I think that is how that works. But there we go, weak activation crystal. Uh, and then I think if I take one of the orbs that I have, the Apprentice, Magicians, I don't know which one of these is actually the powerful one. Magicians, there we go. Place this here, it's going to fill up, and I need to fill it up basically eight times-ish, if the Blood Altar is full. So there we go, it is now empty. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill it back up again. Actually, what I think we need to make is a specific sigil. The these deviation signal, this sigil, this one right here, uh, we need to make arcane ashes. Use redstone together with a blank slate and then we'll get this. To make this, we will need the alchemy table, which we have right here. So. In order to make this, we need gunpowder, white dye, redstone, and charcoal. The question is, can I open this and open this and do this? Yes, I can. That is perfect right there. So, in this thing, I'm pretty sure we add this here. Add the different ingredients and let it do its thing. And there we go, arcane ash. And so with this, I think I'm pretty sure I need some redstone, of course. And then I need a blank. I'm pretty sure I have one more blank uh, thing here. And then I think we put this on the ground. And then we do this and this. Okay, I think I need to hit it with redstone first. Yep, then do that. It's going to do some cool animation just like that. And it should pop out what we need, I think, hope. Yep, there we go. And we can right click this to see how much LP we actually have. So I need to, like if I go in here, charge it up a little bit more, I will have more. So I need 80, I need that to say 80,000 for us to activate that portal. And there we go, 80,000. I can take my blood orb now and I think all I have to do is right click this. Yep, we are being teleport. I was not ready for the teleportation to happen. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we are now here in this. Oh, I should have, <laughs> I should have, at least I have this. I can get back if I need to, which I will, because I need to make some iron keys. I forgot about that. So I don't know, have, has it used? It's used to LP. It has used to LP, right. These iron keys are used to open these doors and we're gonna find a bunch of different loot here. However, the primary thing that I'm interested in Oh, that's cool. Primary thing I'm interested in is the Thai fruit. And also chance cubes, because they, they can be fun. Thai fruit! Got it. Got it. <laughs> can that turn into... No. If we search this, I also need to get the saturated Thai fruit. Now, I could turn it into saturated, but let, let's just... We've just gotten here. Let's see what we actually got here. I want to loot this place. Don't really care about much of the other loot. I mean, we can fly and everything. Oh, hello. You kind of jump scared me. Demon will. That might be becoming handy since it's from blood magic. And I may have to return back home and then go back here because I have no more iron keys and this thing is not a dimensional thing. Um, right. Yes, I will return home. <laughs> 
very very fast visit but we will go back we will go back in just a moment i need to refill my thing and i need to make some iron keys like this which i need to make in a hellfire forge which is why i have it right here and i need a blank slate for that right let's make the hellfire forge just like that and i'm gonna place that over here next thing we need to make is then uh, the keys, right? Keys, 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 iron, iron K. This thing right here. So, uh, some sort of gem. I need imbued slate, which is reinforced slate, which is blank slate. Okay, I can make that. What are these? Common crystal, greater crystal? Okay, common crystal is made from lesser cr uh, gem, which is made from a pity gem, which is made by this. So to make a common, I need a lesser. To make a lesser, I need a pity. And to make a pity, I need this stuff. And can I? Yes, I can grab the things out just like so, which is good because that means I can just do this. And then demon will. I need the demon will that I just found. That could not have happened in any any better way. Uh, don't know what's going to happen now. I've never done this before. But there we go, we have our pity gem. Now I can use this using a diamond. I can make the lesser. Just gotta drag this down. Add all this. Oh, I need another one. Right, I need another pity gem in order to got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So add all the ingredients, add the demon will again. It does look like the will quality does go down as we go, but I now have two of these. Uh, I should anyway. Yep, that is that's the other one, and I should be able to add this, and add this in here. I mean that's the recipe at least. Looks like I need to gather will, which is interesting, because I don't know how to do that. Uh, sentient sword uses demon will to unleash its full potential. Contains raw will. So if I make this. I might be able to just kill mobs, and that will then give me will. Do I not have an iron sword? I do not. Let's get a stick in there, get an iron sword. So if I take all this out, if I use this, this, place this. Oh, that happens no matter what. Okay, that makes sense. And boom. So if I just put this away, and I have this then, if I just, if I kill mobs, Eventually they'll die. I don't have sharpness or anything like that, but I do have this. Uh, durability is going down. Will quality two. Okay, so will quality three. Okay, so maybe I can improve the sword. Actually, I'm just using the sword as is, and it's actually doing pretty well. I just would love to have sharpness on it, but I don't have a sharpness book, and I can't be bothered to try and get a sharpness book because I can't craft them in any way. So I would have to do. I would have to do it the normal way, which <laughs> I'm not going to do. But I just need 60 here, and then I should have enough to do what we need to do. All right, we have 63, so that means we can go ahead and I'll make the lesser gem, which is this, this, this. And actually, no, I will need to make another uh, pitch gem, which is this stuff. And that should give us then the lesser tartaric gem. Good. Some of the will has been used. Now we need to make the greater tartaric gem uh or common can i just make the common yeah i can i need to make the common right i need to make the common one which is the lesser than diamond imbued slate and block of gold add this stuff here then add this never mind it's going to require minimum required 240 will and i have 43 here right back to killing and actually that won't work because this pity Tata gem will only carry 64 it seems. So that means I need to make a lesser one. I actually need to make oh dear, I need to make one more. There's so much crafting in this. All right, this is now at 250 so that should be plenty for us to do the next part of this thing. So that is putting all of this stuff in. Adding that and finally, we should have a common Tartaric gem, just like so. And now, we of course just need it to be full with 300 at least. 
and we can use uh, this recipe right here. All right, now have a 418 will quality. I think that is going to be good enough. If I do this, it should be making iron keys and it's going to drain 50 per operation. So that's one iron key. That's two iron key. And I'm going to have to refill this again because it requires that there's 300 present, which I'm very happy about that there are plenty of zombies waiting for me. But that is 300 right there. Wait again and rinse and repeat until it is done. And there we go, eight iron keys in total. Now, I can't go yet. <laughs> I can't go yet. I need to go ahead and make sure that I have 80,000 LP. I have been recharging this thing up to 80,000. Well, it's not at 80,000 yet, as you can see from this, but I just realized I don't think I need 80,000 to go back there. Yep, I don't, okay. <laughs> Good to know, but I will be needing it for later usages. So, what even are you? You're, you're just fire. You're, you're just fire, apparently. Okay. Very interesting room. Let's not have this place burn. Ooh, tow fruit. Or tau fruit, or whatever it's called. Uh, tau fruit has an alternate, more challenging route of growth. If the plant matures while a mob, a cow for example, is standing on top of it, it will leach health from the entity to satiate its dark hungers. In this way, saturated tau can be grown. So, if I use bone meal on this, for example, and put a cow on top of it, as it said, then I should be able to do just that. Well, while we're here. Let's open up some of this. This is a very, very dark room. I assume there will be spawners. You know what? If it's... Oh, hello. If it is from... What's this? Fire protection. Interesting. If it's from something from Bloodcraft, I will take it. <laughs> One final door here. Let's see what we got. Still got this. All right. Could you go away? Thank you. In fact, I am going to go away because uh, I don't need anything else from here. So if I just take some fence... And I do this, till this, put our fruit on. Not gonna grow just yet, gonna remove this. It obviously doesn't have dirt. But I do this and I, I can't stand, but I can. Hmm, okay. I went ahead and made this band and Okay, so they need to mature. So if I just harvest it, it's growing, and as it's growing, it's damaging the cow. Meaning that eventually, yep, we have a saturated tau, just like that. And eventually, I think it'll be 100% grown. Oh, I can stand on it as well, apparently. But there we go. I have saturated tau. You know what? That might be the fastest way of doing this. I think that is the fast way of doing this because I have this armor. Just waiting for it to mature and we have the unsaturated towel. I suppose while that is happening in the background, um, very painfully, we could use these in an arc furnace, which is something that we need to craft, as well as a sanguine reverter to make weak blood shards. And these weak blood shards can then be turned into bloodstone bricks, which is exactly what we need. So I have eight. I'm going to try and see if that's enough. I doubt it because it says here, in here it says 20%, so I don't think it's going to be enough, but we'll find out. While I'm waiting for this one to finish, we could go ahead and do this recipe right here. We just need a common thing. We need enough will, which I think I might have. Add that and add one of these, and we should get, boom. The sanguine uh, re reverter thing. Uh, then we need to just make this, which our last one is now done. We can add that to the system. Don't need this anymore. Definitely going to keep those in my inventory. Then we make this, need the furnace, and then boom, and boom, and ka -ching, and bam. Wow, that looks complicated. But I'm sure it's fine. If we add this like so, and saturated something. Don't know what it's using as fuel. But there we go, that is a weak blood shot and we can use that on any stone. So, oh, we just need one? Do we just need the one? 
Do we just need the one, ladies and gentlemen? Is that, is that a thing? Oh, we do just need the one. Would you look at that? That means I can go ahead and go into this book, step out, and I can visualize the tier four stru- Give me that. <laughs> I can visualize the tier four structure. I do need to make quite a few more ritual um, blocks here, but that shouldn't be a problem. Well, actually, I say that. Hold on. Ritual. I have eight, so that's a great start. But before that, I just want the satisfaction of placing this down. Lovely. Right. I need to make more of this. And finally, the last rune block. Completed. Tier 4 blood altar has been completed. Now with a tier 4, we can now work towards getting, of course, tier 5, which is going to be even bigger yet. As you can see from that, I need to go down actually quite a few blocks here, but that's that's fine. However, in order for us to do that, I am pretty sure we need to do a couple of things. We need even more runes. And we also need uh, these right here. So let's read. Place 15 blood runes one block down and three blocks away from the previous set of runes. Blah, 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 blah. Leave a one block gap on either end, then place a hellforged block at each corner. So we need uh, to get this raw demonite. Demonite ore can only be found within dungeons, specifically in the mines, accessed by finding a foreman's key somewhere within the maze-like structure and using it to unlock a spatial distortion. It can be used to make hellforged ingots or hellforged sand. One might will still touch the blah, 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 blah. I need to then need to figure out how I get to this place. So in order for us to get the demonite, we need to head to a place called the Endless, but this right here it doesn't actually have it we need to upgrade it to dusk which means we need to make some demonic slates and also this the inscription tool dusk and that's pretty easy 2000 only lp and a block of coal there we go that's our first one then we're going to be needing to make the demonic slate we need to make an imbued slate and then we yeah that's made from reinforced and blank slate i already have one imbued so i can just turn that into a demonic one i just need to add it to the blacklist here so it doesn't get pulled out too soon and i just need to continue this as always and there we go our first demonic slate this is the thing that we need to make so we can click visualize and you can see the size right here i think we can place it right there yeah, I think, I think that's going to be good. I might actually move it back one. But there we go. We have our two demonic slates. So now we can go ahead and upgrade this to a dusk. Just like that. And we should now have a few more options such as... Waiting. Waiting. Eventually. Uh... Pathway to the Endless Realm, that is the one. So with that, we just need to make a Master Ritual Stone, which should be as easy as doing... Where's my orb? Where is my orb? There we go. Take this, place that, and I just need 69 Ritual Stones. I can just right-click this, and it should be building it. Unable to place block at... Oh, well, that should be fixed now. So if we... Oh, it's going into this place. All right, I went ahead and expanded this room. Let's see if it's still complaining. It is not. It is continuing. Very, very good. Very cool. However, it has just stopped again. Okay, I'm going to try and start it over. I'm not sure what... It's like it's building it in the opposite direction of where this visualizer is. Well, I'm going to remove the visualization and I'm just going to do this. And I think it's going to do it now. Yes. All right. Everything is in place. Next, I'm going to be needing a weak activation crystal and also 150,000 uh, LP, which... Uh, <laughs> I will need to place this here. 
place this here and well build this up for quite a bit all right exactly 150 lp and i think that's actually our max in this magician's uh, blood orb but with that we can now right click this and boom we are able to transport ourselves to this other dimension which is going to be interesting where hopefully we can find exactly what we need and yes i did bring my iron keys here let's go behind us this time around uh that's a lot of stuff and it's very very dark and i didn't bring any torches that's another door i'm pretty sure i don't really care about this stuff uh yeah these are just a bunch of other doors let's see what we get if we open one of these okay yeah, that's more like it, though I feel like stuff is missing. Like, I don't feel like that is what is supposed to happen. <laughs> I, am I am really sorry that I didn't get any torches with me, because it is very dark in here. If I remember, I'll try and brighten it up in the edit. Um, but let me pick up all of this stuff. We are... Uh, I, this is... All of this is not what I'm looking for, like, at all. Let's try and open up another door. Uh... Well, I, I can fly, so <laughs> that's nice. And I can hold down shift, I have figured out, and I can actually hold back enemies. That is a very, very cool thing to be able to do with these boots or leggings. I, I guess it's the boots because they are the ones that allows me to fly, but you get the point. Nothing here. I am not going to be in doubt whether or not I have found what I'm looking for or not. This is not the room either. I'm actually just going to... Oh, that's blood. I'm just gonna actually go ahead and keep running until I find exactly what I'm looking for. One key remaining. Oh, okay. Well, at least my key didn't get used for that. Uh, that was my final key. Oh, well, that's interesting. But this is not the stuff that I need. So I need to head back home and then get some more iron keys. Huh, this helmet actually has night vision. I, I could have used that. <laughs> That's good to know. All right, eight more iron keys has been acquired. I have enough resources to make eight more in case I want it. Please, sir, go away. That, that's not good. I really need a specific room here. Yes, that is what I need right there. This should be able to destroy the spawner very easily. There we go. Perfect. Let's get rid of the mob that is protecting the ore. All right. Oh, there's another spawner down here. Please go away. And this is the stuff that we need. Demonite right here. And I need in total, I need four blocks and it takes nine of these ingots uh, to make one uh, block. So I'm going to be needing nine, 18, 27. Yeah, 36. 36. And I think I can just vein mine all this stuff actually. Yes, perfect. So there we go, I have enough for one, one block, one, one, yes, one block so far. I think there are more doors to go through. Oh wow, library vexes, I don't like vexes. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here instead. Nope, no mind, that didn't make it better. <laughs> Let's try this way. Ooh, yes, perfect. Uh, that could be something that maybe we need. I don't know. But, yes, perfect. 26, I just need 10 more. Uh, don't throw my pickaxe, that would be very bad. <laughs> Is this enough? I need 36. Not quite just yet. But I'm sure there's another room close. Oh, yep. Another room very, very close by. That's annoying, they take so long to kill die and here we go yep that is definitely going to be enough 40 46 yes these final two and then we drop this i'm gonna bring this just in case i need it i don't want to <laughs> have to go back and forth too much and i am actually going to go upstairs real quick because i need to smelt this and the easiest way of doing that is in here boom done <laughs> <laughs> just like that and i needed four of these one two three four and boom i can proceed with upgrading this to a tier five which is going to be looking like this so i need to start digging 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have done progress. I have taken the entire uh, altar right here and I have loaded by, by two. Yeah, I took everything, loaded down by two, and then I, of course, made the edges over here look a lot better, in my opinion. Of course, still need the walls, but we now have officially a tier five altar, as you can see in the top right hand, left hand corner, sorry. Um, now what we need to do is set up this. The, uh, the no, where, no, eat, uh, don't. Mm, mm. Well of suffering, this thing right here, because that will allow us to have the process of zombies coming over and being killed, well, automatically, which is uh, really what we want. I have 63 ritual stone right here, so all I really need to do is press that button and watch it build itself, which is really cool. And then I need to activate it, I'm pretty sure, using, if we go back here into the rituals, list of rituals, well of suffering, uh, weak activation crystal, activation cost is 40,000 LP. All right, we now have well above 40,000, oop, have heart. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just had to talk about for dying just because I don't really fancy dying. But with that, we now have 50,000 LP, which is perfect for what we need. I can now take back my blood orb. Now, if we actually go into this, it says a base interval 256, base usage cost 2 LP. So this thing is going to be using 2 LP in order to run. But we will tackle that later on. We're actually getting very close to having this finished. I just need to weak, no, maybe backpack, yes. This thing right here, but first, I'm going to build up this, and I'm thinking, I think this is still going to run uh, with this glass being here, so I'm going to make a little bit of a chamber, and then I'm just going to place the spawner, maybe not directly on top of this block, but like next to it, and then mobs should just, well, start to, disintegrate <laughs> I hope anyway I hope this is going to work and that the glass is not actually interfering all right final piece of glass to place I'm going to put in the crystal that room is completely dark let's just verify that it actually spawns mobs it should anyway uh, maybe it oh it might need air above it you know it might actually need air so you know what let's just wow that's slow not for this though. Let's place it. Let's try and placing it right there. Let's try and place it right there. Let me just do this. Let's see what happens. Yes, perfect. Now all we need to do, I think, is click this. A rush of energy throws flows through the ritual, and as you can see, they are taking damage indeed. And we're filling this up very, very slowly. Now. Actually, quite fast now that it's speeding up. So if I just go ahead, now we come actually to the final, believe it or not, final pieces of automation. We are going to be needing one item pipe, one ultimate pipe upgrade, or just any pipe upgrade really, that allows us to make a filter or add a filter. Uh, a few end drawers, we're going to be needing a neutronium compressor, probably a few more end drawers actually, a linking tool, and then some logistical transporters, just one to be specific, and a personal, I think I have one, yes, personal EMC link, and we will have stone. Now, the whole reason why we have made this entire setup is to make ethereal slates. So, ethereal slates require demonic slates, which require imbued slates, which requires reinforced slates, which requires blank state slates. And all we need to do, where's the door, is to place a... Transporter there, EMC link there, which is going to then take, uh, let me get my thing here. Let, let too many keyboard presses, there we go. It's going to take stone one stack at a time into this thing. Or maybe we just want it to be one at a time, actually. Hmm. I'm going to place a chest over here for now, just so I can get all this stuff sorted, like so I can see what is actually happening. I think, yeah, I definitely want to do one stack at a time or sorry yeah one one item at a time not one stack at a time but let's get back to that we'll place an item pipe here we'll set that to output and we place not the EMC link and we place an ender drawer at the end of it just like so because the ethereal slate is going to end up here because we're going to set this 
to be a whitelist and we add the ethereal slate. I don't know if we can actually do this. No, we can't add the ethereal slate like that, but we'll add, a, we'll add the ethereal slate here and that is the only thing that's going to be allowed into the ender drawer. Now, I think if I take a node and then take an item, an item card, export and import. So this is insert, this transfer amount can be one. So if I place this here, we place stone in there, extract cut there, import cut there. And if I add something else, Nausea. Why am I getting nausea? Why am I getting nausea? What is happening? It was right after I added this thing. I don't like this. <laughs> what is... I'm so confused. Okay, I know why. So, remember the two base usage cost? My, uh, my orb had ran, had run out. And so I guess it was starting to take from my life pheasants without actually take, giving me any damage. And that is what was happening there. So yeah, that is why I wanted to make the highest tier orb as I possibly could. So I could, so I could just fill this up, which can hold like a million or something, I think. And I can fill it up, I can let this machine run, then I can fill it up again as soon as it runs out. Basically just AFK until I see my character getting nauseous. Um, but yes. That is that, we can use this to say, yep, we have 17. So that is enough for us to start in a way. I can go ahead and start making these. But for now, let us set back this, the node system, the laser node. So uh, item card, transfer amount one, extract, import. This has been set to this for now. And if I add this here, yes, it's, Never mind. It is taking. It's taking much more than what it's supposed to. I set a counting filter on that. Yep, that seems to have done it. So that's, that's what's going to happen here. Is this stone is going to transform into a blank slate, then a reinforced slate, imbued, demonic, and then when it reaches ethereal, it will run through this pipe into the center drawer, which is then of course going to lead to the setup right over here. We're gonna have an ender drawer, uh, I think here? Yeah, let's do it here. Neutronium compressor. We're gonna have one more logistical transporter, like so. Output, we're going to link the two together. I'm not sure if it's going to work because it doesn't have anything inside it, but there we go. That should technically be that. Then we can have another one over here and we need two more logistical transporters to output into this, which will then be connected to the top of our base. Yep, see, there we go. It has already reached, uh, what tier is that? Imbued? Is that imbued? That may be imbued, I can't tell. But this is r working wonderful. If I click this, as you can see, our overall LP is going down. So that is why we want a very, very, a very, very good orb for us to hold everything into so we can just stay like this for a very long time. But right now we have a demonic slate right there. I just want to sit here and wait for this thing to finish. Oh, it might not be able to keep up. Oh, it might not be able to keep up at this state. Yeah, I might need to take some of these because that's going to, I think, speed up this process up here. Hmm. There are actually quite a few runes that might be interesting for us to make, such as maybe the acceleration rune, uh, rune of sacrifice maybe, I don't know actually what that one does. We, if we go into here and we go into runes, I assume that's going to be, that's tears of slate, uh, blood runes, yes. Uh, rune of capacity, rune of sacrifice. The Rune of Sacrifice increases the amount of life essence gained in the Blood Altar through means that take health from a non-player entities. Each room gives a bonus of 10% added additivity, adi adi additively per rune. So that's something that we definitely want to make. Primarily, I think the Rune of Sacrifice and the Rune of Capacity. So I think I'm going to make those. So what 
I already have some runes of speed, actually, rune, speed rune. The speed rune increases all of the crafting operations of the blood altar. The crafting speed and speed that the progress has lost when empty increases the additive plus 20% per rune. Okay, that's cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have made progress. As you can see, I have upgraded this thing with quite a few runes, primarily runes of sacrifice, because they are the one that increases the amount of life essence gained. So that is what I really want to get more life essence. I might even replace some of these speed runes with that because that seems to be what I really need. The capacity is very nice and I'm still missing the 13 runes over there. Question is, Anna was just able to make the Master Blood Orb, but I wasn't able to quite make the Archmage's Blood Orb. Question is, can it handle this? It's a big question. And from the look of this, that is a no. So I'm still going to... Oh! Oh, it might be able to. That's our first Ethereal Slate. Just like that. We might be able to just leave this on now. So... However, I still do need this uh, this Archmage as well. I don't need it, but it's going to be very nice. I'm wondering if the orb is going... Yes. So the Master Blood Orb can hold 1 million LP, where, whereas the Archmage can hold 10 million. And that's my point. If we can get the Archmage, fill it up with 10 million, and then fill up our internal LP with 10 million, then we're got, not going to have any issues whatsoever just AFKing this thing for a very, very long time. Okay, this is the final sacrificial runes right there. I have removed 14 speed runes, hoping that this is going to be able to keep up. So, if I just remove this, this is going to be the ultimate test right here. We're going to remove... Well, actually, I do need something. So, well, no, we can't add the thing that I'm about to... There we go. That should work. And now, let's see if it can keep up. If it can keep up with this, it should be able to keep up with the ethereal. I mean, yeah, that's actually, that's working very well. It's actually keeping up with it. We're done. This system is now fully functional. And I don't actually have an ethereal slate on me, but I can get that very easily by just removing the end of drawer can I yes and then just picking it up wow this is taking a lot there we go archmages a blood orb so I can just charge this up until I get one or 10 million LP sorry but before then I'm just going to add this to here nothing is going to transfer over because it says only want an ender drawer and then when we get an ethereal slate add that to this or add it to the filters array, and then we're good to go. And this process, by the way, is not slow with the setup right here. I assume the speed runes are speeding it up. I think that is their purpose. And there it is, Ethereal Slate. I could add this to this. And now the only thing allowed through is the Ethereal Slate, which of course is going to be taken right into the Neutronium compressor and with that i i mean i just i have to wait for the the singularity to finish so i'll be right back uh, i'm gonna be i'm gonna be sitting here uh waiting on uh a drawer i'll be sitting waiting on a drawer <laughs> waiting for the first singularity to appear and there it is ladies and gentlemen only a few seconds later we have gotten the ethereal slate singularity that's just one thing left to do check the lp store this frequency Take this drawer back, and then go to the top side, and then place it in. No, place it in right there. That's all the singularities, 100%, well, 99% uh, automated, because we do need to make sure that we keep having LP uh, in our LP network. But other than that, this is automated. There's just one problem I'm having with this balloon just before we end this episode. Uh, it's this thing is not keeping up properly like this thing right here it just gets filled up and then it gets like it gets stuck but as soon as I remove all of this well actually not only this gets stuck it gets full too much I even added another layer but I I need to fix that I'll be fixing that off camera and I'll show you in the next episode what I've done but guys that is going to be it for this episode all singularities has now been automated and that was blood magic and my first time of using blood magic may I add as well and honestly it was a lot it was a lot and it was very very time consuming most of my time 
seriously, most of my time was spent uh, looking like this. Hold on, let me just get the, the dagger. What's the dagger? That That is... Most of my time was spent looking like this. <laughs> it has taken forever to get this episode done. But guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. And of course, if you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications if you haven't done so yet, so you don't miss the next episode where we are completely done with this and we can focus on making the ultimate stew. And after that, we can make the infinity catalyst. We also need to automate the Enders Pearl. I had kind of forgotten about that, but we can then make the Infinity Catalyst, which is really, really exciting. We are very, very close to the end. So guys, like I said, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day, and good... Come on. Come on. One, one last one. One, one final one. M maybe? Maybe? Maybe. Oh, there we go. Yes. Goodbye. Stop.